Hello there. Today's video is actually kind of a big one. It's uh, involving the font property in CSS. So here's a page with a paragraph in it. Paragraph stuck inside of a div. Uh, here's the HTML and CSS. The div is not so important, but the paragraph is because we're going to use that for the CSS. We'll do P and curly brace, enter, and font. And the reason why this is such a big tag is because you can actually do several settings at once. Two of them, however, are required. So you need to do a uh, size. Let's do for XX dash large and the uh, the font family so we'll do a mono space there we go that's mono space now there's a couple things we need to talk about there's a serif that's another font family these are the three generics and you can see serif because it's got little feet all the letters have little feet on them if you look at them closely uh, there's also sans serif which means without feet I don't really know if that's what it means but that's what it means in the layman's terms as you can see, none of the letters have feet. Let's go back to uh, serif and do a comparison again. Let's refresh. There we go. All the letters got feet. Um, so uh, there you go. There's the two that are required because if you do one without the other one, then you're not going to have this font tag is not going to work. So there's also ex, uh, extra large. There's a uh, large. There's a uh, larger, there's smaller, which would be smaller than its parent item. Uh, in this case, the parent item would actually be the div. Um, larger would be larger than what's specified for its parent item, the div again. There's medium, which is normal sized. Uh, let's put it back on the monospace. Yeah, monospace. Uh, medium. The reason why I'm putting it back on monospace because I can see right away that something's gone wrong. Because uh, you get this stuff out of order. That's small for uh, font size. There's uh, x small. If you get something out of order, it breaks the whole tag. So x small. Refresh. Uh, double x small. And refresh. Uh, apparently Firefox doesn't do double x small. There's uh, pixels. So you can do uh, 20 pixels. Refresh, great big thing. There's a uh, 40 pixels, double the size. There's a uh, really small, like four pixels, which will be unreadable. Which don't do that on your web pages because you'll get smacked up by Google. There's a percentage that you can do as well. So uh, four percent, save, refresh. Uh, really small. Uh, so let's do a 40 percent. There we go. 40 percent, 100 percent and uh, say uh, 110 percent let's do 250 percent say refresh alright so that's the uh, percentage we're just gonna go for a large extra large um, the one thing you don't actually get is inherit oh crud I did a save on the page there we go refresh uh, the one thing you don't get with these things are inherit and normal because a lot of these properties use inherit and a lot of them use normal so your browser is not going to know which property you're talking about next is a font style so you can do a an italic we'll save that refresh or oblique save that refresh same difference if you don't want that then don't specify it um, there's the uh, font variant which really all you get there is small caps uh, so you can see that uh, the T is a capital T and all the other letters are lowercase letters so now that we've got small caps specified you can do that and now they're slightly smaller but they are still capital letters uh, small caps and you can switch these guys around so italic refresh and uh, the final one is the font weight so do you want to have bold there you go bold there's a uh, bolder which is slightly bolder than its parent item there's a uh, lighter which is uh, lighter than its parent item I don't know why you don't have light though uh, and then there are numbers so there's 100 which doesn't do any good there's uh, 200 300 and none of these guys work in Firefox there's a uh, 400 which is supposed to be the normal weight, uh, 500 and 600. 600 to where actually Firefox does the bold thing, and 700 is exactly the same as 600. 
800, 900, uh, but you can specify all these different properties in one declaration. I'd uh, invite you to go look up fonts. So you can do uh, Times New Roman and then do a comma, say refresh. Yeah, this is Times New Roman. So the uh, you can do multiple fonts. Times New Roman, which is a uh, serif, right? It is a serif. Um, so we'll save that serif and refresh. And uh, that way you can specify multiples. So let's say there was a font called Apple. Well, it won't find Apple, but it will find serif. So there we go. That's serif. That might actually be the Apple font. Let's see. Save, refresh. Maybe there's a font called Apple. Let's pick a random word. Um, or maybe it's not finding one called Apple. Maybe I'm just imagining that. Called um, Yeah, so it's not finding Apple, then it's moving on to monospace. Because if now if I do times new Roman, which it does know, Linux does know times new Roman. There we go, that's clearly times new Roman, that's not a monospace. Uh, but if I take it out, it'll go back to monospace. So you can specify multiple fonts. The, uh, the important thing is is the the font family needs to be last in the declaration. The uh, font size needs to be last in the declaration. And you have to declare both of those for it to work. And then your uh, font style, font variant, font weight can all be specified in whatever sequence you want. But before the uh, font size and font family. So there you go. That's how you use the font tag, and uh, hopefully you've learned something from this guy. And uh, let's show it on span here, actually, because I want to show the bigger um, span, because I got span in this guy. Uh, so span, and uh, we'll do a font. We're still going to do monospace, but we're going to do a smaller um, refresh. Yeah, so it's slightly smaller. I wonder if I can do the inherit here. Since it's specific where it needs to be, no, nope, can't do the inherit, um, but we can do smaller and uh, monospace. So that's why the smaller works. Uh, there's also the larger, which means larger than its parent item. Um, but that's it. That's it for the font tag, uh, font property in CSS. Hopefully you've learned something from this, and uh, you'll be better at Word, or you'll be better at um, web design for it. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?